So the museum of where we are is a collection of student objects uh, from Drexel University, and they are objects that are found within our own living spaces. Uh, some of those which are more mundane and familiar, but some of those which are more personal and unique to us. And they each have their own story behind them. I guess making them each their own characters in a way. We as people have stories, but so do these objects in this museum. I wrote about uh, Tetra the Flamingo, which is an ornamental flamingo that is supposed to go in the garden uh, of whatever space you have. But of course, I live in Philadelphia in an apartment. I don't really have room for a giant garden in my little studio space, uh, so it just kind of sits in the corner of my room. Uh, but something about it that's interesting is that it's a garden light and the light is broken. Uh, and that makes me very sad, but you know, after the light broke, I soon realized that, you know, even though the light isn't there, there's so much more uh, than the actual purpose of an object that can bring us, like, you know, hope and joy and reason when we see it in our space. I saw my medication, which is my testosterone and the syringe I use to inject it every week. I thought it'd be a really good object to explore because being a historian, I am always aware of who is written and who isn't written. And something I've always noticed is transness isn't written. So the opportunity presented in front of me to even write just a little bit of the trans experience I felt was important. This really gave us a chance to look at every tiny detail and look at everything about our object in an in-depth dive. And I could look at these different aspects of my object and then I can translate them to how do I want to connect this to the story of the object? Like, what does this mean? What is the significance of this? Rather than just being like, oh yeah, it's made of brass. It's a little wear and tear there, but it's like, how can I translate that? There is a beauty in the everyday that kind of gets lost. And I think, or at least I hope the exhibition will allow people to take a look at the lost and find it again. All these objects have hidden value, right? It's very personal values, very sentimental values. And it's like, oh, that hidden value that you get from looking at an object, that, that means a lot. It might not seem like a lot from an outside perspective, but I hope they read these stories and they see these hidden values in these objects. And maybe, you know, they'll find that in objects of their own, or maybe this could be extended beyond that. Everything and everyone's got hidden values that you just don't really know about until you dive deep and you see that story.